how are you guys? It's Anna. Look where I am right now. It's Incheon Airport and I am back here once again because today I am traveling to Hong Kong and I am so excited about this. The last time I was there was probably about five or six years ago before COVID. And the reason why I'm going on this trip is because I teamed up with Trip.com and Hong Kong Airport. Yay! And I'm of course going to be showing you all the fun things that I get up to during my trip. Hi guys, editing Anna here and I'm just interrupting because the information changed but I'm telling you the information now. So I'm excited to announce that I'll be giving away round trip tickets from Incheon to Hong Kong to three of my subscribers and anyone can participate whether you're Korean or you're a foreigner. As long as you can make the same exact trip then you have the chance to enter the giveaway for these round trip tickets to Hong Kong. So there are two ways you can enter this giveaway. Number one, comment down below on this video why you would love to go to Hong Kong and also download the trip.com app through my bio link is going to be in the description and pinned comment and the 30th person to comment will be chosen by trip and you'll be receiving one round trip ticket to Hong Kong. Sorry, voiceover. And the second way to enter and this gives you a higher chance of winning, place any order through trip.com again through my bio link such as attraction tickets, train, restaurant tickets or hotel booking and comment your order number in the comment section down below so we can see. Someone with the most number of orders will win two round trip tickets and the person who comes in second place will receive just one. Any taxes or charges incurred during booking of the flights, you'll have to pay for that yourself, but otherwise the flight tickets are free. So comment down below why you would love to go to Hong Kong and also check out the link in the description to find out more about the campaign. Good luck and back to the video. So I'm currently waiting for my friend to get here, but my friend is not going to be on camera. They're just going to be helping me film and I have so much to show you guys. I think for the vlog, I'm going to be basically hotel hopping and I'm so excited for the last night. We're going to the Rosewood Hotel in Hong Kong. It's very premium and luxury. I think Blackpink stayed there as well. First thing that we're doing is we're landing and then going straight to Macau and staying in Macau for one day and I've never been to Macau. I am just so psyched and to be honest I think instead of doing all the touristy stuff because I've done that once before like Victoria Peak I'm going to be mainly just showing you like the hotels like the fancier sides and what it's like to stay in Hong Kong for a few days so I am so hyped Okay, there was some mistake. We thought we were getting the ferry. It's not. It's we're getting the bus. <laughs> to the Sky Pier Terminal to the mainland and Macau. So actually this bus that we're taking to Macau, it was free. So we saved like actually a, a lot of money because they just they have this promotion going on, it's like for free. So that's good. We'll get to Macau in about one hour and then go into the hotel, unpack, head out straight to Macau, go to some bars, just look around the whole town. I'm very excited. See that anywhere? Hot drinking water. We don't see that in Korea. <laughs> Okay, so now we're on this final bus to go to Macau. They said they don't accept octopus cards, and they said they only accept cash, like exact cash, and they didn't have any change. And so the lady behind us, she literally just gave us money to pay to the driver. Originally, the driver was just like, okay, you can just go in, whatever, it doesn't matter. But like this lady just gave us change to give to the driver. I am so touched right now.
Lost Hotel, the Grand Hyatt. Macau is insane. It's so flashy, so extravagant, but so nice. I am pretty tired from the whole day of travel, but kind of starving. So let me eat something and then head out and wander. So from here it's like luxury shops. Have you ever seen a Porsche like this? It looks like a fish. <laughs> It's a fat car sculpture, a real Porsche plumped up with foam and then covered with lacquer to become fat and big. Wow, look. It's a fat Porsche. Look who it is. This guy. He's an EXO member. Ex EXO member. Macau is quite chilly at night. I thought it was going to be slightly warmer than this, but it's not. I'm still so touched by that lady who gave us money. I wanted to give something back to her in return, but I had nothing. But I think it definitely started off this trip on such a, like, a nice, heartwarming note. So I'm going to remember that. And also what I noticed coming in the taxi on the way here, because Macau used to be a Portuguese colony, it has that kind of like European city vibe, some of the streets. So I thought that was pretty nice. Oh, I feel like I need more time to explore everything. Hong Kong, Macau, everything. But I'll make the most of what I can on this trip. We're still waiting to like check in right now. I'm just like wandering around this hotel. So we're doing one night in this hotel only. And we have the grand suite. <laughs> so I'm very excited. Yo. Okay, finally inside and I'm gonna show you this room. You have to see this room, okay? This is suite room in the Grand Hyatt Hotel in Macau. So this is how it looks when you walk in. There's a kettle, water, what's in here? Tea? Yes, tea. Look at the view! So that's the Wynn Hotel opposite. And they have this like fountain show that they have until like midnight. We have fruit and champagne. I definitely want some of this. <laughs> and this is the bedroom. Again, the view. Hey guys. Oh, I'm kind of sad that I'm only here like one night. This is the bathroom. That's just toilet, mirror, two sinks. Very nice. So the plan is I want to get dressed into something else and then we're going to go eat some dinner and then probably just walk around a little bit. Oh look, it's starting! The fountain show! What a blessing it is to be here! Look guys, the soap is bomber. Chinese restaurant. <laughs> Macau is too overstimulating for me. I'm a bit overwhelmed if I'm all being honest. But people seem to be having fun. I just walked past someone who 36x'd his money. Isn't that crazy? On roulette. It's insane, this place. Oh, suddenly it's daylight. <laughs> it was night over there, now it's daylight. Oh, big pennies on la.
Good morning, guys. Look at this view again. It's much clearer in daylight. That's how they do the fountain show. I forgot to bring pajamas, so I just slept in this gown. So the plan is today, gonna go have breakfast before it closes at 11. I have to check out here by 1. It's a shame to leave Macau just after one evening, so I think we're gonna do more wandering around, look inside more casinos. I was super impressed last night about how they decorated each casino. It's all different. Like for example, the Londoner, I can tell they really tried their best to make it feel like really London. And like the other hotels like the Parisian or the Sheraton, they all have their own distinct styles and they have really nice photo zones and all that. So I think I'm gonna go explore them a little bit more. Probably gonna stay in in Macau the whole day and then go to Hong Kong in the evening. to go into our actual hotel's casino, Grand Hyatt, because yesterday we went to different ones and then pack our bags and then get some egg tarts in the afternoon. Guys, look at that rain. You can take someone out with that. What's the price? 34,000. Oh my god. <laughs> to this hotel which I'm very sad about and now we're leaving. Thank you for the time. Bye bye. The sun has come out. Currently at the Wynn Hotel, the one that was opposite us. We're going to the casino in here. The Wynn Hotel and we also wandered inside and I think it's really pretty. Apparently a lot of females like this hotel. I can see why. It's very decorated to the nines and very pretty. So now we're leaving. Bye-bye. We're in this place called Lord Stout's Bakery. They have like several brunches and this place is really famous for the Portuguese egg tart. Warm custard in the middle. Not too sweet. Currently, we've arrived at the Parisian, another hotel. I've never been to this many hotels in my life. Literally hotel hopping, but let's have a look inside. They decorated it like Paris, I think. So. Currently waiting to get on the ferry to go to Hong Kong now. It takes one hour.
finally in Hong Kong. As soon as we go to the hotel, we have to go straight back out for dinner. Two star Michelin called Arbo Japanese. I'm in Hong Kong. <laughs> this is the Mira Moon Hotel and it's like super like Asian feel. <laughs> I've never seen beds like, like this. I'm on the 32nd floor, look. 32nd floor. Oh. Very nice shower. And there's all this like Asian decoration stuff. Hong Kong doesn't have much space, so it's kind of on the small side, but this is what you expect. Okay, now let's get ready and go for dinner. restaurant. It's like on the 25th floor. And the chicken sauce and also with the chicken meatball. And then for the main with uh, three choices. Rest roasted with some herbs. <laughs> Thank you. This is like the home deck of Hong Kong. There's loads of people up there. How was that with today? Good morning, you guys. This is my view today. There's the DBS building right there. I think it's going to be quite a gloomy day. Look at the sky. So today is my last full day in Hong Kong. And then I leave tomorrow afternoon back to Seoul. But we have another two-star Michelin lunch today in like an hour or so. It's Cantonese and I'm so excited for this. And afterwards, I was checking into the Rosewood Hotel, which I was telling you about. After dinner last night, we were just kind of walking around a little bit. And I just think Hong Kong is such a romantic city. I don't know if it's because of all the Hong Kong movies that I watched. The city just feels so romantic to me, just like walking down the little streets and I don't know, I really I really like it. Wherever I go, when they hear me speaking Korean, they will just speak Korean to us and they say like, oh I'm a K-drama fan or I'm a, I'm a K-pop fan or stuff like this. So that's been kind of funny. I can't talk while I'm doing eyeliner, I have to concentrate. This eyeliner that I got from Olive Young the other day, it's 
probably the best eyeliner that I've ever tried. It's by a brand called No Beth. I think a Korean beauty blogger made this. It has a, a pen on one side and a pencil on this side. And honestly, it's so good. I was shook. It's become my new all-time favorite eyeliner. Highly recommend. I will try to link it down below, but upset, I'm gonna keep buying this. Inside have a you know, crab meat, uh, meat and also bay on the sauce. We're currently now at the Regent Hotel in Hong Kong. We're not staying here, but we're just like dropping off our luggage when we go shopping. So look at this lobby, guys. This lounge. The view of Hong Kong in the back. A lot of people doing afternoon tea. Oh, I'm too full. Just coffee right now. inside the shopping mall called K11. They have a lot of designer boutique stores and all of that so I might do some shopping. This shopping mall smells divine. It smells like vanilla and something. I really want to ask like a worker what candle or what scent they're burning in here because I want it. So good. Pajamas. This may be, but like, how do you do this? <laughs> This might be the fanciest hotel I've ever stayed at. So I'm currently in the club lounge of the Rosewood Hotel. We booked a club access room. You can have breakfast here, afternoon tea and drinks. It's on the 40th floor. This is going to be better than the bakery that I went to. The one the other day tasted a lot of egg. This one is more like dessert. So the Rosewood is basically the most premium hotel in Hong Kong. I'm gonna fully, fully make use of everything. <laughs> Probably not gonna go elsewhere. I'm just gonna stay here and make the use of the entire hotel before I leave. That's my plan today. Okay, that looks nice. 
looks like the London Eye. <laughs> it's not. So it's funny because these are all the lifts, like so many of them. Yet yeah, they're a bit on the slow side, still waiting. Go on the right floor. Uh, sometimes I go wrong floor. Okay. okay. And our suites go from a thousand square feet and above. Mm -hmm. One chime. Luggage is here already. Yeah. And this is a uh, lower piano. Which which this is one. this? Yeah, this is lower piano. piano. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> This is Laura Fiella. Wow. Yes. We have a beautiful <gasps> wow. view. Wow. So pretty. Not bad. Right? So you guys are facing Wan Chai. <laughs> yes, Wan this Chai is like again. the best view I've ever had in a hotel. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, my We're God. We're trying to get them to open one in Korea. Really? Yes. Oh. This is sick. Is your first time in Hong Kong? No. Oh, okay, we knew before. So yeah. we have a little Hong Kong book there uh, that they made just for this hotel. Really? It's like okay, it's I'll have a book. look. It's a French bookmaker. Really? And they normally do like Louis Vuitton books and Givenchy. Oh. But this one they just made for the hotel. Oh. And your tea here. All right. Mm. And all the tea and coffee are complimentary. Mm. So we have coffee capsules here and mm -hmm. then just the snacks will be chargeable. Mm. All right. And every room has a different picture of Hong Kong. So this is like Aberdeen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then we have a little liquor trolley. So if you're interested, uh, there's a little a menu oh, there where yeah. you can take a look. Wow. That's like a bar book as yeah. well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. Wow. I think the bathroom is the prettiest. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. Instagram central. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is where every girl takes pictures. <laughs> uh. Wow, look at this bathroom. Yes. Oh my gosh. Is this vlog going on YouTube? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. How do I find you? Oh, yeah, I'll tell you. Okay, I'll tell you, yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Ishwa. <laughs> Hi, thank you for showing us around. Oh, um, this is what I need to take your yeah, bajillion selfies. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and there's this. Oh, it's a bidet. Yeah, yeah. So it's a total <laughs> it opened. Chinese. Wow. Thank and you, bidet. All and everything with red bean, red bean. I wish this was my bedroom. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we have the, all the amenities here. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yes. So everything is kind of, you know, like uh, like, like this. Mm -hmm. Kind of everything is like this. Even if you go on the lift, the shape, mm -hmm. the shape of everything is like this. So mm -hmm. it's pretty, yeah, it's a pretty nice hotel, mm -hmm. I would say. It's pretty nice, yeah. yeah. It's and okay. Then, uh, you have blackout here and also Roman. So if you just uh. press Roman, then it would be this one uh -huh. right here. <gasps> yeah. This is the Roman. Wow. And the blackout would be the one at the back. Oh, yes. Total blackout. Yeah. Yeah. More fruits. More fruits. I'll give you my card. Oh, yes. Uh, so, my name is Ishwan. Uh, that's so sweet. They left me this nice note, too. Guys, this is for sure, without a doubt, the nicest hotel I've ever stayed in. It's kind of insane. And the guy that was showing us around was so nice. I'm taking like a bajillion photos and loads of content just so I can remember this moment forever. Later. So we've come for happy hour at the Rosewood and the guy that's looking after us, he's so nice. He was telling us like loads of Korean celebrities come here. Obviously Blackpink came. Also Sun Lee from, well, ex Big Bang, he also came. Song Hye Kyo from The Glory, she came. Anyway, gonna enjoy our dinner. <laughs> <gasps> the happy hour snacks <laughs> negroni old-fashioned guys the guy that's looking after us he just literally gave us this get this card look it was a pleasure to meet the both of you i hope you enjoyed the hotel and the manor club i will be waiting patiently for the video on you <laughs> how cute Uh, 
we just tried to go into the bar, the dark side bar, and it was completely full. So I'm really sad right now. It's one of the top bars in Asia, apparently. And it's a jazz club as well. Can't go in. I want this to be my bathroom. And now I'm super relaxed. Gonna go to bed. And in the morning, gonna check out the swimming pool for sure. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, you guys. It's 8 a.m. I'm making myself go down to the swimming pool and at least make use of it before I go because it's a shame not to use it. I'm just going by myself because it's very early in the morning, but I, I need to go. Oh, look how windy it is outside. Oh my god, is it going to be okay to swim? Okay, this is the female changing room at the gym. There's a sun. Oh, it's warm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, this is like a maze. I can't find the front door. There are like mirrors on every single wall, so it's like super confusing. How do I get out? But seriously, how did I come in here? How do I get out? This is just changing rooms. I'm seriously confused. This is not a door. Okay. okay guys, this is the pool, but it's super windy. Oh, I want to show you because it's like an infinity pool. I just you can swim in this right now. Yeah, this is the pool. It would be really nice in warm weather. So hi guys, editing Anna here. I'm almost done editing this vlog. This vlog was such a bitch to edit, but I'm almost done. I thought I filmed an outro at the end, but clearly I hadn't, so I'm doing it now. It was so sad checking out of the Rosewood because it was so nice and everyone treated us so well. I mean, yes, it's a five-star luxury hotel, so obviously, but I would love to stay there again. And I think he did tell me that they're planning on making a Rosewood in Seoul. So I really hope that happens. All in all, this trip, nothing terrible happened. I didn't lose anything. I didn't get injured. So all in all, such a nice trip and I would love to go back to Macau and Hong Kong to explore more spots next time. Please don't forget to check out the link in the description if you want to try and win round trip tickets to Hong Kong. I'll put more information in the description so please go read that too. And thank you so much for watching this long vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!